As has been already stated, BVD is a virus that is very well adapted to cattle as the major host species. And when cattle are acutely infected postnatally, uh, the uh, disease, the cause of the disease usually is very, very mild. However, uh, each acute BVD infection goes along with the so-called transient immunosuppression. That means that immune lymphocytes will drop to fairly low levels and in addition BVD virus manipulates the so-called innate immune system, that means the unspecific immune system. For example, in the sense that the production of interferon is suppressed. So what are the practical consequences? Uh, the practical consequences are that during immunosuppression, BV, uh, the, the, the cattle become um, more susceptible to other pathogens. For example, respiratory pathogens like viruses, BRSV, parainfluenza uh, para 1, and uh, uh, other pathogens. And uh, also, also to enteric pathogens like rotaviruses. So, in other words, when acutely infected cattle are held under poor environmental conditions. It can very well be that they develop respiratory disease uh, and, uh, for example, diarrhea. In general, uh, a new infection of BVD of a herd uh, uh, um, damages the herd health level on a broad scale. Very difficult to uh, 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 to make objective statements about that, but if you see the herd as a whole, uh, the herd health suffers due to uh, transient uh, postnatal infections with BVD.